Hello all and welcome back. Um, I'm using my Windows uh, 10 desktop environment for my gaming and stuff and needs. But for right now I'm going to be talking about um, Lubuntu. Now uh, a lot of people have heard of uh, Zubuntu which is X U A X Ubuntu and Ubuntu and um, I've been on Ubuntu a lot here lately. I want to get into some uh, other distros but for right now I'm just going through some things that I see fit for um, uh, people with lower end computers like uh, some of the computers I have just laying around we're gonna be talking about Lubuntu now what is Lubuntu? Uh, Lubuntu is uh, a very lightweight um, OS it's it's let's see here how many, how many megabytes is it anyway I think it's like 630 something 687 megabytes 687 megabytes for the full OS as opposed to Windows and Ubuntu originally which is 1.5 uh, gigabytes and uh, Windows 10 which is 3.3 gigabytes so extremely lightweight um, other than that other than that business like wait it is not a resource hog at all um, uses LXDE desktop environment um, if you don't know that's just a very small task window it kind of looks like this but it's very short and minimalistic and but it still has it, it's still an eye catcher um, we can open up our web browser right here and look up lubuntu.net and um, this is what it looks like right here so um, if we get full screen, that'd be great, but we can't. So, here's what it looks like. Um, kind of a uh, clean silver feeling to it. But very lightweight and very productive. Um, can support all this stuff on a very a very minimalistic system. So, if you go in here for the system requirements, we see memory, RAM, advance. Uh, let's see. All it needs at least 512 megabytes of RAM. So, as you can see already... 512 megabytes of RAM for the minimalistic is super small um, as opposed to let's go back to what uh, you did XP come out 2000 something like that uh, those XP requirements so let's see here 120 big megabytes of RAM so you're really close <laughs> to um, the 512 megabytes so you're getting close to you can run this as it was as like a uh, XP ran on older systems which was very efficient so if you got an older computer and you're trying to keep up with everything with being able to browse the web and do multitasking and stuff this is for you now there are other versions out there uh, other versions of Linux that I will be talking about soon but I wanted to get this one out there because it's just one of my favorites I'm using it on my wife's computer right now she has a old uh, Toshiba Satellite, like C655D, and it's got an AMD C50, terrible processor for Windows. <laughs> I don't even know what made them use 64-bit architecture on it, but um, it's Toshiba, so I just they should stick to whatever they do with TVs. Uh, anyway, that's just my opinion. So it's got a ton, a ton of uh, pre-installed applications on it. Um, it comes pre-installed with uh, I think VLC. Um, uh, Firefox, of course, transmission. Um, what the, all the pre-installed things are on there. It's got a photo viewer, uh, image editor, all that stuff is on here. So, what what's there to complain about? Um, nothing much other than it does look dated, which is okay. It's a lightweight system. It's gonna look dated, but the main thing is that it can run everything you need like if you tried to boot up Windows 10 on that computer which I have tried uh, loading when just into Microsoft Edge or loading into uh, say opening a uh, simple task like CPU ID would take ages it just felt like it was ages as if as opposed to loading into um, loading it with Lubuntu uh, we can watch videos stream videos um, you can even do minimal recording on this. Now, I chose this desktop as my favorite. Uh, th this distro as my favorite for light for lightweight because of the memory and the usage on the uh, CPU. Um, it's wonderful. Now, um, getting to it, if you want to install this, it's very straightforward and simplistic. Um, there's only two tools that you need to have. Um, and this works for basically basically any any Linux distro converting 
from Windows. Uh, you can do a dual boot, which I will be doing. <coughs> My main reason for doing a dual boot is a, I hate swapping out hard drives or using a mass storage device adapter um, because it just takes up space and it's not worth it and I'm using a laptop instead of a desktop so it does take up space I can't just insert it into my uh, drive and plug it in or insert it into my case and plug it in so it, it doesn't work that well and I've got a one terabyte hard drive more than enough for uh, me to go around with and it's more than enough it's more than I'll need um, on top of that um, it's easier for me to load that so uh, beyond that let's go ahead and open up Rufus and show you what to do here now you will need your USB device just plug it in mine's already pre-installed with Ubuntu but we'll go ahead and just for the sake of this it's gonna load up and it's going to register on here now we can see um, that your device has been detected Ready. hang on okay now you can see that your device has been detected and all you gotta do is uh, make sure it's MBR partition scheme for BIOS or UEFI that makes sure that it, if your BIOS supports UEFI or MBR so uh, make sure it's set to the default FAT32 that's what most Linux distros run on is FAT32 system file system which is faster than NTFS and faster than uh, XFAT so there we go it's better um, just the default cluster size is fine and quick format create bootable disk image using you want to click this and click Lubuntu and click open it's going to scan the image and make sure to create extended label on an icon files so once you've done that you're just going to click start and whenever it's done it will have up success. You can close out and go ahead and load into it. Um, that's about it, guys. Uh, try Ubuntu out. Um, I'll probably post a virtual machine whenever I'm done, and um, you guys can tell me what you think about it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.